what has inspired me to do what I do is to have people come in, they have questions. They don't know what the law is. The, the law is like a mysterious place to them and they need help. They need answers to those things. I'm the person who can help find those answers for them and present to them an answer that makes sense and gives them guidance in their life. And that's basically why I did this and why I continue to do it. There are stories uh, about how maybe you go to a, a doctor or some other professional and you want to, you know, you want to tell them their story and they're in and out in five minutes and you think, what happened? Well, I actually like listening to my clients tell their stories because not only does it instill in them the sense that, you know, I'm somebody who wants to know what they're talking about, but then I get what their legal problem might be. Okay, so that's the, that's the first aspect that I really enjoy. The second aspect is determining through a discovery of the facts, do they have a legal claim that I can win? And then be able to tell them, yes, you do, or I'm sorry you don't, but you know, there may be other things that we can help you with. The final thing, and often the most rewarding thing, is when you get to the end of the case, and the case is resolved, people's claims are finished, and there is a certain relief that the client has that I have actually performed a service for them that they didn't have to do on their own, that there was somebody who cared about what their story was, and helped them cross the finish line to a successful end. Now, I have to tell you, I, you know, um, we're going to have to cut. I kind of Black Chapman, Weber, and Stevens. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. Black Chapman, Weber, and Stevens is a law firm that's been in the Valley for nearly 30 years. Okay. During that time, our law firm has earned the highest rating from the nation's oldest legal directory. Okay. What does that mean? Well, what it means is that lawyers, judges, other people in the community and in the nation actually have looked at our firm, looked at our ethics, they've looked at our, our work product, and the results that we've obtained and have said, you know what? These people deserve the highest rating that's possible and we're going to give it to them. And we've had that rating for many years now. Specifically, Dennis Black, our senior partner, is a member of the College Trial uh, Lawyers of America, members of whom belong to the United States Supreme Court and other people of that, that nature. That, that sort of high-end lawyering that you think of when you think of lawyers. Bob Weber, um, if you've just been in an accident, a um, couple of things that you need to do. First of all, you need to check to make sure everyone in your car is okay. Uh, if you're not, or you suspect that you're not, first thing you do anyway is to dial 911. There are two reasons for that. First of all, auto accidents have to be reported under state law, uh, particularly to the Department of Motor Vehicles. So the first thing you do is contact the police and emergency medical technicians, and they will do that through the 911 process. Okay? Second thing you do is determine are there witnesses who can provide information about what they saw. That is, how did this accident happen? Whose fault was it? Uh, was there some inattention by the other driver? Uh, get the names and numbers of those people who saw the accident so that you can contact them at a later time. If the other driver approaches you, you can uh, ask them what happened and get their statement as well. Once all that has happened, and by this time police and emergency medical techs should be on scene, allow yourself to be examined by the emergency medical technicians and if necessary be taken to a local hospital where the emergency room can can examine you to determine if there are any life-threatening injuries and even non-life-threatening injuries which 
uh, you may not note at the scene. Oftentimes people who have just been in an accident have so much adrenaline coursing through their blood that they don't even know that they've been hurt. And it takes an hour or two or more for aches, pains, even breaks in bones to become evident to them. So these are some of the things that you need to do. Call 911, make sure the police and emergency medical technicians come out to the scene, get witness names and numbers, get insurance information from the other driver, okay? Provide information to the police as you can and to the emergency medical technicians, get to the hospital, and then get treatment. If you've just been in an accident, a um, couple of things that you need to do. First of all, you need to check to make sure everyone in your car is okay. Uh, if you're not, or you suspect that you're not, first thing you do anyway is to dial 911. There are two reasons for that. First of all, auto accidents have to be reported under state law, uh, particularly to the Department of Motor Vehicles. So the first thing you do is contact the police, and emergency medical technicians, and they will do that through the 911 process. Okay? Second thing you do is determine are there witnesses who can provide information about what they saw? That is, how did this accident happen? Whose fault was it? Uh, was there some inattention by the other driver? Uh, get the names and numbers of those people who saw the accident so that you can contact them at a later time. If the other driver approaches you, you can uh, ask them what happened and get their statement as well. Once all that has happened, and by this time police and emergency medical techs should be on scene, allow yourself to be examined by the emergency medical technicians and if necessary, be taken to a local hospital where the emergency room can, can examine you to determine if there are any life-threatening injuries and even non-life-threatening injuries, which uh, you may not note at the scene. Oftentimes, people who have just been in an accident have so much adrenaline coursing through their blood that they don't even know that they've been hurt. And it takes an hour or two or more for aches, pains, even breaks in bones to become evident to them. So these are some of the things that you need to do. Call 911, make sure the police and emergency medical technicians come out to the scene, get witness names and numbers, get insurance information from the other driver, okay? Provide information to the police as you can and to the emergency medical technicians get to the hospital, and then get treatment. Issues that affect our community, and in particular, uh, Hispanic groups. For myself, for my part, uh, I've been a lawyer for 28 years. Uh, I'm licensed in Washington, Oregon, and California. Uh, I am a former probation monitor for the State Bar of California, uh, keeping lawyers who have violated ethical violations uh, in line with the state uh, uh, bar. And um, I too have uh, volunteered uh, my time uh, in other respects. Um, um, some of the work I've done and the things that I'm most proud of are the, work, uh, the works that I've done in civil rights and sexual abuse cases, particularly ones involving priest abuse uh, or other organizational type abuses uh, where police have maybe uh, been accused of misconduct and have you know, abused the rights of citizens.